Hi guys, it's JP Bushy. I uh, wanted to talk really quickly about something that I get asked this time of year, every year, and the ice literally went off where I fish on Georgian Bay about 12 hours ago, and I'm just about to get suited up and head out to start my lake trout and rainbow trolling season. Um, and what I wanted to do really quick is I've got all my outfits rigged up for the season here right behind me, go through them all and give you an idea of what exactly uh, I use. And mentioning the specific brand names and sponsors and, and et cetera, et cetera, isn't really what the point is here. It's to give you an idea of the types of fishing that you can expect to do uh, under these conditions early in the spring. And what I've got behind me will cover us from right now at ice out all the way late into spring past Victoria Day and some years right into early June. Uh, so without further ado, uh, everything's laid out here behind me. Um, what this is, 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 is a really fun way to catch a lot of fish and some really big ones as well. This is basically about a six and a half foot ultralight action spinning rod with a matching little spinning reel, six pound test mono. Uh, you can tell it's very, very light action, almost like a pan fish or, or, or ultralight action stream trout. Um, I usually use little spoons, um, and what I'll do with this combo is run it straight over the transom, almost in a prop wash type fashion, like you would for muskie, um, right down the middle. Um, a lot of line out, but still very much following the path of the boat. Um, it's not uncommon for me to let out, you know, 150 to 200 feet of line here, um, and I'll do that while I've got two other lines spread out either side, planer boards usually, but that's a really fun and productive way to catch fish, and we catch all kinds on that. Um, along the same lines, this is a nine foot steelhead action spinning rod. Um, very similar in action to that ultralight, but I'll run this straight into the rod holder over the side, tip slightly down into the water, just as a pure flat lining type of outfit. Um, 10 pound mono, a long 15 or 20 pound fluorocarbon leader, and I'll use a lot of spinners. Um, Jointed minnow baits and spoons as well, but this is an outfit that I pull spinners with, and spinners like the number two MEPS, etc., at MEPS Aglia are, are super deadly, and uh, that's basically what that outfit is designed for. Um, I probably get, I could probably spend the entire season using these next two outfits and probably catch eight out of every ten uh, lake trout and rainbows each spring on them, and they're my planer board outfits. Um, these two babies right here. Uh, you can see both of them are rigged up with jointed minnow baits. Um, nine and a half foot, basically downrigger style or downrigger action rods, long and whippy, little line counter reels, 10 pound test mono. Um, everything I do with planer boards, whether it's walleye, lakers, rainbows, is all based on 10 pound test. I just know exactly how deep my lures are going to run based on how much line I let out, and it's all patterned off a 10 pound line. So that's what I use there. One of, these, uh, min one of these outfits has a lot of weight on it, and the other one's got no weight on it. So, uh, out behind a planer board, I can, I can spread lures not only out to the sides, I can spread them up to run along beaches or structure. I can also control how I spread them top to bottom. So, um, planer boards are, are super deadly effective, and they're a really nice complement to those other two flat lining combos we looked at to start off. Um, over here, these two outfits aren't exactly what I would call expensive or elaborate or exotic, but they're very, very specialized in terms of what they do. And both of these are for fishing deeper in the water. Um, this time of year, lake trout can go anywhere they want. The temperature is uniform from top to bottom, inshore, offshore, wherever you want. Um, there's always fish deep. Always, always. And by deep this time of year, I'm not talking about 80, 100 feet. Uh, I mean 20, 30, 35, 40, 45 feet of water. Um, lake trout will use structure in these cold water periods like spring in those depths just as regularly as they will in the summertime or at other times of the year. It's usually a bait fish thing, a smelt thing. And anytime we get into areas uh, where we're marking good concentrations of fish down in that uh, 20, 30, 40 foot of water. We'll, we'll go at them with dipsy divers and other diving devices. You can see the dipsy there. Um, it's rigged up on a nine foot rod again. Considerably beefier and heavier than the planer board uh, style outfits, but still lots of bounce. You need some, you need some, uh, some meat and some muscle to handle the pull of that diver. Uh, 17 pound mono on a another line counter reel, keeping track of all our spreads and distances and setups. 
um, about six and a half or seven feet of 20 pound fluoro down to, and I use a lot of spoons on these. That's a brand new one from Williams I'm going to use this year. Um, that's the new HQ spoon. That should be dynamite uh, down in those depths. Anytime we're marking fish, we'll throw the dipsies down, skip them through the rocks and whatnot, and uh, spoons, jointed minnow baits, things like that. This is a pattern that you can rely on just as reliably uh, and just as consistently as the shallow water stuff with boards and other types of uh, setups. Deep water fish are, are always available this time of year. Um, along the same lines, something that I've really gotten into the past four or five years, uh, originally with my walleye fishing, Great Lakes, Bay of Quinte, Georgian Bay, late in the fall and during summer, is lead core. Um, unlike the big dipsy outfit we just looked at, this is an eight foot rod, but it's got a considerably softer action to it. It's actually a... Um, more like that steelhead spinning rod we looked at and I use it in a very similar way just in a rod holder straight off the side of the boat tipped down and this reel here is spooled up with about eight colors of uh, 27 pound lead core um, you generally don't need that much uh, where we apply this technique a lot is over sandy uh, 35 45 uh, foot basins where they uh, where the lake trout are feeding on smelts larval insects and whatnot and um, lead core is awesome for placing any size or any style of bait you want down deep it's very very sneaky there's no diving devices there's no weights there's nothing uh, it's very very subtle and most of all what i like about it is it's a no stretch product we've got about a 30 foot liter of, of, of fluorocarbon but the, the the lead core itself is no stretch Long soft trolling rod, awesome fight and awesome uh, level of enjoyment when you do hook up. Very effective, very, very effective for lake trout. In all of those cases with all of that trolling equipment, all of the reels, the pound tests, the leaders, and even uh, some of the baits are very much universal and interchangeable. I mean, this is the, the basis core setup that I use for walleye all summer, walleye late in the fall rainbows and lakers this time of year there's a number of outfits there that i'll downrig with so it's all very very uh interchangeable um last but not least and this is lots of fun um lake trout are notorious for following their buddies and whipping themselves into a frenzy like a shark tank type of mentality uh when one of their buddies gets hooked smallmouth bass and largemouth bass do the exact same thing all the outfits that we've looked at to start off are trolling outfits. This is a casting outfit. This is basically just a seven and a half foot uh, walleye or smallmouth bass action spinning rod. 30 pound test, high visibility braid, long 15 or 20 pound floral leader, down to a half ounce Mr. Twister five inch twister tail. You can use anything there, shad, tube, uh, a bucktail jig works really well, any kind of swim bait. Uh, the point is, is that when someone in the boat hooks up while they're trolling, two things are going to go on. Number one, it's going to take them a long time to get that fish in because you've usually got quite a bit of line out and Lakers really fight. And number two, uh, it's going to get other fish in, the, in that area going. And an easy, easy and fun way to pick off extra fish every, ting, every single time you're out is to have someone stand up, being careful of course, and throw back bomb casts in the area of that hooked fish. Uh, you can pick up all kinds of extra fish doing this. And if you think a walleye smacks a jig, what do you feel about a 10 or 15 pound lake trout smack it on a little outfit like this? Very, very productive. Uh, we've had triple headers in my boat where guys have hooked up on a trolling board or a flat line and then we'll just pick up spinning or bait casting rods with baits of this st style and throw back in and, 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 and get all kinds of extra bonus fish that way. Um, the jig's really nice too because it's got a single hook. Speaking of which, if you look at all of these baits, from the jointed minnow baits, to the spoons, to the dipsy outfit, to the spinners, everything, the jig, single hooks across the board. Uh, lake trout require very, very specific levels of water quality. Lake trout are a slow growing fish, and they're a fish that I've been lucky enough to spend my entire life targeting on some of the best water in the world. My son's going to be a lake trout fisherman. My dad's a lake trout fisherman. My grandfather was a lake trout fisherman. So it's a resource that I take very seriously. And these fish roll, these fish fight, and treble hooks uh, at this time of year, any time of year really, are just a nightmare 
singles are much cleaner, much easier on the fish. If you'll notice some of those lures, they've only got one single hook on it. Those jointed minnow baits all usually have one. Um, that's more than enough to hook up. At any rate, um, there's a bit of a start for you in terms of getting rigged up and I'd encourage you to give it a shot and enjoy all of it.